Now we all know that iPhones have become increasingly popular for taking videos while traveling. I've been bringing my iPhone along for all of my outdoor trips as it's super convenient, portable, easy to use, and produces great quality video. You could say it has become a lifestyle for me and for many travelers. I'm sure you're one of them too. However, making your travel videos look epic can be challenging when starting out. It takes time and practice, but hey, once you get the hang out of it, it will be much easier as you will know what to look out for and have created a sort of mindset as a mobile video creator. That's why I recommend investing some time in this video on how to make your iPhone travel videos look cinematic. This way you can show your videos to your friends and they'll be like, wow, did you hire someone to do this? So with that said, let me show you the travel video I shot of Paris using my iPhone. So I hope you enjoyed that short travel video I filmed using my iPhone 13 Pro Max. As you can see with the proper techniques and tools, you can quickly transform your travel videos into something cinematic looking. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Bennett Grazer and keeping it mobile is what I do. <laughs> now, before we get started, this video is sponsored by Artlist. I wanna thank them for supporting this channel. I will talk more about them later. So as mentioned in this video, I will share with you some useful tips and tricks to help you make your travel videos look awesome guys. The first tip would be to find your inspiration. For my trip to Paris, I actually watched some cinematic travel videos shot on an iPhone uh, on YouTube, which really helped me visualize and gave me some ideas of how I want my travel video to be. I like to watch different scenes and angles and shots that have been used. So when I go out in the field with my iPhone, I already you know, have some ideas of what kind of scenes or shot I want to include in my video. I'm not saying you should you know, copy what others have done done, but rather get inspired by them to find something unique in their video that you could add to your own shooting style. One of my inspirations is Andy Doe, for example. He's a New York based filmmaker who creates these incredible travel videos on his iPhone. What I like about his work is his ability to tell great stories. What's crazy is that his edits aren't really that complicated. Most of his mobile videos have basic yet clever transition, uh, well paced speed ramps and time lapses. His ability to tell a compelling story is what makes his video so unique. Whenever I watch one of his videos, I feel inspired to create my own and try out new ideas and techniques. If you're feeling uninspired, just take the time to watch some travel videos shot on an iPhone. You'll then be fired up to go out and shoot some awesome videos and you feel like you wanna punch someone in the face. No, that, no that's, that's not correct. No. I'd... All right, number two is to change your angle. One of the best rules to follow when making an iPhone travel video is to capture the scene 
from different angles. I call it the three shot rule. Now what this means is that you should always shoot the same scene from three different angles, a wide, mid, and close up shot. This way you'll have multiple angles to choose from when editing your video together and it will create more of a complete scene. Rather than capturing random shots, think about how each angle can contribute to the story you're trying to tell. For my Paris video, I captured the violinist Violin, violinist from multiple angles, which gives the viewer a better understanding of what's happening as it provides more context. Also avoid shooting from eye level constantly. Not all shots have to be shot from the same angle. Play around with it. Try to capture different perspectives of your subject or environment. Think about getting up higher or going low to the ground. This will allow you to create a more visual interesting piece rather than capturing everything from eye level as we see the world like that anyway. This leads me to my next tip, which is to start thinking creatively. Thinking outside of the box and trying out different shots is the key to being creative. Don't be afraid to experiment with new angles or techniques. It's easy to take just a basic wide shot of the scene in front of you, but if you want to up your game and make an interesting cinematic video, you'll need to get out of your comfort zone. Just get out there and start filming. I usually just carry my iPhone around in my pocket and take short clips of whatever catches my eye. For example, you could take a shot of something that looks intriguing, for example, an interesting door lock or a unique pattern. The point is don't be afraid to experiment and try different techniques because that's how you will find your own style and discover something new. Now, the next big thing is really important is finding the right music. When it comes to adding music to your travel videos, it's important to find the right track that will complement the story and evoke the desired emotion. Music can either make or break a video, so it's important to find something that fits the vibe you're going for. And that is where our sponsor Artlist comes into play. I get all of my music from Artlist. They have over 18,000 high quality soundtracks to choose from. And once you purchase a subscription, you get access to the entire catalog and can download as many songs as you want. The best part about Artlist is the intuitive search feature. When selecting your music, think about the feeling and emotion you want to portray. This way you can use Artlist's wide range of criteria such as picking out the mood or feeling you're going after. So for the video of Paris, the mood I picked uh, was exciting. Then you can also choose genre or the style of music. For that, I chose the music to be classic and cinematic. And there are many other criteria to choose from to narrow your search to help find the perfect song for your video. So if you're looking for quality music, Artlist is an amazing choice. And if you use the link in the video description below, you can get two months additional for free. Now, the next big tip is to invest in the right equipment. Now, you can definitely create stunning videos just using your iPhone, but with certain tools, you can make your shooting experience much better. Some of my must-have iPhone travel video equipment are a sling bag, a gimbal, a tripod, a telephoto lens, and a power bank. Now, this might be different for each person depending on what type of iPhone travel video you're shooting, but for the type of work I'm doing, these items have become essential to my filming process. So for me, a sling bag forces me to bring only the necessary tools with me as there is limited space in it. I always bring also a gimbal with me, just a second, uh, which is the DJI OM6 and easily fits into my bag. And this gives me the ability to create these awesome hyperlapses. And I also bring a tripod with me as I can use it to capture time lapses or to film myself and use it as B-roll. And I also bring a telephoto lens with me for capturing subjects that are far away. And finally, I would also bring a power bank with me uh, because, you know, shooting videos uh, on an iPhone can drain the battery quickly, especially when it's cold outside and also when you're using third-party apps. Now, I will talk about this travel kit in another video. You're probably wondering how is he going to bring a tripod with him with this sling bag? I can actually use these straps over here to secure my tripod. And the goal as a mobile shooter is to really keep my gear as minimal as possible while still being able to get those shots that I have in mind. Let me know what you guys bring when you travel. I would love to know. Now guys, if you're interested in the products I've mentioned, I will leave a link in the video description below. Just keep in mind that these are just tools that can help you with the shooting process and you don't need to break the bank to get them. So 
guys, there you have it. Those are my tips for creating stunning cinematic videos on your iPhone. I hope this inspired you to get out and start filming with your mobile phone. Remember, the most important thing is to be relaxed, have fun, and experiment. Make sure to also download my free smartphone filmmaking guide that includes some of my best tips and tricks for creating cinematic videos on your mobile phone. And also, if you wanna learn more, make sure to check out smartphonefilmmaking.com, which is the ultimate online course where you can join hundreds of students in learning how to create cinematic videos on your phone. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. We actually recently reached 200,000K. I just wanna thank you all once again for helping me and supporting this channel. It's really all thanks to you that I'm able to do this for a living. And I'm really thankful and feel humbled to have you guys be part of my life. I appreciate all of you. You guys take care. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.